Good morning, Mod and Pop Thrift. This is take three. Uh, we got seven things that sold overnight. Um, nothing super spectacular. Let's just jump right into it. This Dietz uh, hurricane lamp, it's really small, like really small for one of these hurricane lamps. It's a number 50. I just watched a YouTuber that I follow make a video about how these work and why they're important and whatever. And I saw this one for 250. You guys probably saw it on the last video. Uh, it sold for 12.99 plus shipping which is not a great price for it, but this one's in pretty bad shape. I didn't notice it had a big cut in the glass and you can see it needs uh cleaned up and that wick is rusty all the way down so somebody's gonna have to do some work for that these books these little golden books are not always worth money the these are all bible themed and we picked them up at a place where kids books are 10 cents a piece so i'm like less than a dollar in his 70 cents into these they sold for $7 plus shipping. This I picked up the other day for a couple bucks. I want to say it might have been $4 or $5. Um, sold for $15, $14.99 plus shipping. It's just a either an umpire's mask or a catcher's mask, depending on where the person that's wearing is standing. Um, these... You guys saw these in a video. These are just really neat. It's two strands, a mix of cowboy boots, covered wagons, and cow skulls. Real Tex-Mex feel. I really think these are neat. I wouldn't hang them because they're not the decor that we use, but they're just really nifty. I want to say I paid $2 for these at a yard sale. With the armadillos and the stars and flags that I got and then there was a whole mess more of these kind of lights I uh, I picked up a whole bunch of them I think these were marked two bucks but I ended up making a deal for the whole pile those sold for $27.99 free shipping these magnets are something that I picked up recently uh, I paid like five dollars for like a hundred of them and those are just sitting there because they need listed this John Deere hat is not a good John Deere hat it's a screen print um, and it I've owned it for a year but it is a vintage snapback so I'm glad to see it get gone at $14.99 free shipping this shirt Ray this was something someone probably made for Ray's 70th birthday you guys may be unaware Ray my wife's name is Desiree and she doesn't spell it like that, but we call her Ray a lot. Um, this Screen Stars tag is a really good one. This kind of shirt, I feel like people struggle with. It's three-quarter sleeve. It has the it, baseball, old baseball jersey feel. This is called a Raglan. R-A-G-L-A-N. Raglan shirt. That's the style that that three-quarter sleeve is. This is dated 1986. This may be my favorite shirt that I've ever picked up. Not that it's got some huge provenance band tour date thing. It's just fun as it can possibly be in its dead stock. I actually saw this hanging in the background of a listing for an estate sale. And I called them when it was open and I said, hey, is that shirt still there? I would like to buy that over the phone because I can't make it to your sale today because I have COVID. And so that would have been Thanksgiving time frame. And then it got stuck in a box and I forgot about it. And then I pulled it out like two weeks ago. It's been listed. It got lots of interest. This Screen Stars, collectors look for that Screen Stars tag. And I don't understand that necessarily, but I do know it's true. So this, is, this was listed for $27.99 and ended up uh, I had five or six lit watchers ended up selling it for $24.99 on an offer. These I've had listed forever. Same estate sale company as this guy. Um, I paid a dollar for a box of this kind of stuff. And this was the stuff that was still sealed and new or still obviously unused in the box. It's just old 60s household stuff. 
the person claimed that they were buying it because it reminded them of their grandmother or something. Most often, if you're selling this the kind of stuff, it'll be to a prop house um, who wants it on a shelf in a bathroom or something. But these are uh, just nice looking advertisement boxes, recognizable brands and vintage boxes you're not gonna find anymore. I had them listed for $27.99 free shipping. They sent me an offer of $20 free shipping and I've been sitting on them forever. So I was glad to see them gone. So no home runs today. Um, seven items going out, they'll pack up super fast and they will um, make me a little bit of money and then I can get back to listing all the stuff from yesterday that uh deets lamp sold and i listed it last night the uh i got all the hard goods that don't need tested electronics uh listed and i have 27 shirts that i'm gonna try list today it's thursday morning five things sold overnight let's look at them i just picked up this grimici shirt the other day for two dollars and 48 cents i had it listed for 40 bucks i got a 30 dollar offer that sold free shipping these sold, there are 10 of them, um, Geronimo Stilton, uh, I paid 50 cents a piece for them, so I'm $5 into them, they sold for $20 free shipping. This I paid $5 for on that big Goodwill haul, I tested it, it seemed to work just fine, and it sold for $35 free shipping. Orson Scott Card. Just a lot of his books. You're probably familiar with Ender's Game, but he has a couple of series, and uh, he's a really popular science fiction author, so his books sell fairly well. I would say I probably have 50 cents a piece into these, so it's $2.50. They sold for $17 free shipping. And then this bad boy, I'm sure you've noticed it on the table, sold for $90. Uh, plus five dollars shipping to Canada. I do not, as a general rule, do international shipping. I normally let eBay take care of that and do the global shipping program, but this guy's in Canada. He has a bunch of positive feedback. He's been on the site for a long time. It's Canada, so it's not like I'm shipping to Abu Dhabi. We, oui, we're not going anywhere. You, however, are getting a tour of scenic Abu Dhabi. I'm about to do my famous kitten mailing routine. No, Garfield. Where do you want to mail me? Where? Where else, maestro? Abu Dhabi. It's far away. Abu Dhabi. That's where you'll stay. Abu Dhabi. The place to be for any kitten who's annoying me. I don't even know where Abu Dhabi is, but the other side of the world. Um, and so I thought, well, I'll give this a shot. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't know why I decided to take that risk on a hat that's more valuable than almost any hat I've ever sold, but I did. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like to ship that. But first I need to do the magic snap because I got all my packages down here and all my product up here. Let's go print some labels and uh, get these off to the man. Okay, so I didn't expect to be able to do this one in bulk, but here it is in the bulk shipments. So let's click on, it says, I don't know if you can read that. Please open the customs form in, uh, and confirm its contents, customs forms. Let's, I guess I don't need a, to cover that guy's address right now. That's what we're shipping. That's its value. It sold for 90 plus $5 shipping, so they're calling the value 90. That's fine. Um, eight ounces. I think I'm gonna up that to 11 ounces because it is what it is. Combined is greater than, so. Oh, because I didn't change this one. Okay. Merchandise, so. Sometimes you'll have people ask you to change this to gift or to sample. Um, and the reason is because if it's a gift, then they don't have to pay the same taxes and duties. Um, that's illegal. Don't do that. Merchandise. I don't need any comments. I have read the shipping prohibitions and restrictions at USPS or eBay and Confirm that the information provided above is accurate 
and that the package is not prohibited by litigation or by postal or customs regulations. Boom. Now that's saying $20. I don't want to do $20. There is an $11 option. Um, so maybe I do need to take this out of the bulk shipping to get my best options. Uh, so then we'll click on that. And remove it. Okay, so trying this again all by itself. I've got it at 8 ounces because that's what hats normally are. If I go to 11, look down here, the number changes from... So it cost me $6 more. So if it's going to be that drastic a difference, I'm going to measure the... I'm going to weigh this thing just to make sure that it's... Uh, not going to be a problem and again we'll click that which i read aloud and then it'll be either 17. let's go measure it and i'll admit i should have done this ahead of time but hats are almost always in this size box and they're eight ounces uh, but because this one's going international then i put it in the large and it's a really expensive hat i put it in the larger box with some more padding so let's go measure it. Oh, 11, exactly. So I guess it's gonna be $17. All right, so look at this DVD player. I paid $5 for it and it does work, but I'm afraid that the comps are so bad that I wasted my money on it. If you look at the comps, these are not good. I mean, there are no solds, remote or not, but the remote sells, the remote I can get money out of. So it wasn't the best purchase in the world, but just continuing to look into it, do the research and do the work, I'm gonna be all right on that. 